Every Sunday morning in the town of Everville, residents over the age of 70 start their days with a nice breakfast and a drive. It's a simple life. Some, not in the know, might even call it boring. I certainly would, because there's nothing going on here except a bunch of old people driving. Eventually, they all end up at a church parking lot, but then absolutely nothing interesting ever happens. You see, if you don't have a story, it doesn't really matter how cool your cinematography is, what AI tools you did or didn't use, you're not gonna get the engagement of a viewer for any long period of time if there's nothing for them to mentally or emotionally engage with. Special effects and cool graphics can only go so far. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI, and if you are in this AI space, if you're creating videos and audios and doing all sorts of creative things, you've probably put together at least a few little creative projects to show showcase your abilities. I know that a lot of us who are playing with these tools create basically a lot of tech demos. They may tell a little bit of a story as you're showing off the dazzling technology, but what if you want to go beyond the tech demo? What if you have a movie idea, but you've never written a movie before? Movies are a different animal than just a regular TV show or a book or some other kind of story. So if you have an idea but no knowledge of this structure, how can you create an actual screenplay that you could share with someone who can actually get this thing done? A while back, I shared StoryWork with you. StoryWork is an AI-driven tool that helps you develop movies from just an idea. But I want to be clear, this isn't like going to ChatGPT and saying, hey, write me a movie. This is about teaching you how to develop your idea. This AI is trained on movie writing and will work with you to develop your story in an intelligent way. It does this by guiding you through an interview process that takes about an hour, and by the end of that hour, you've got a fully fleshed out screenplay idea. It even generates a pitch deck, which you can print and show to somebody to share your idea. And in this latest update, they've added an industry standard script writer, similar to Final Draft. So if you are a screenwriter, you probably are familiar with that software that helps you write properly formatted scripts. But if you're not, they've got a tool built right in. AI is available to help you improve the writing that you do. But the most exciting part of this update for me is the casting of AI voices to do sort of a virtual table read so you can hear what your production sounds like and evaluate how it's flowing. Now, if you're new to story work, let me just give you a basic recap of what we did in the first video so you can see how it works. You come to the program with just an idea and that's it. So you can click on start a new idea and give your idea a name like the cat that wore a belt with you. Create. And then this interview process starts and you're going to talk to the AI just like you would a normal chatbot. For example, the first idea here is what can you tell me about your idea? Provide me as much detail as you have, even if your ideas are not coherent at the moment. To save some time, let me load in the project I did the last time. So I'll go back to the ideas screen and I'll click on consequence, which is what we ended up naming this after we started. So you'll see that there are three steps to this process. Story development is the first step in the process and that's the interview process we talked about before. So when it asks me for my general idea, I just turned on an audio recorder. I did a brain dump, remembering all the ideas of the story I had like 30 years ago that I never really did anything with. And I transcribed that audio brain dump and just plugged it right in here and the interview process began. And through this process, we worked through the key elements of the story, starting with the idea. Now, each of these sections here that we go through, we have a description here in the upper right hand corner that tells you what that's about. So after we got clear on the idea, now we talked about the genre of the movie, the time the movie took place, what is the world that this movie takes place in, and who are the main characters, is there a theme, what's the background of the characters, story goal, what's the inciting incident, and maybe you've never thought too much about these things because you just don't know what you just don't know when it comes to writing a screenplay for a movie. Luckily, story work helps you with all of that. You learn so much great stuff about writing stories as you go through this process, even if you've written for a long time. Once we went through this entire interview addressing all of these things, the software then creates a blueprint, and the blueprint print will provide you a log line for your movie, a synopsis, a full outline of the story, and all the characters, including their background and even an image. And once you've got all that done, if you click PDF download, now you've got a pitch deck document that has all of that information in it, including the characters. And that's kind of where we left our story last time. And now we're going to go over the new features, starting with screenplays. Because I'm not a screenwriter and I don't have a fully fleshed out script, they were kind enough to send me a sample script so that I can demonstrate this for you, which is great because now I get to show you how easy it is to import scripts from other software. I'm just going to click import. Final draft is the format of this file that they have sent me. It's going to load that right in. We'll change the name from sample to Everville, let's say. Done. Now we've got this loaded in. As we click through the various sections of the script, you'll notice over here current element changes. So we have the scene heading here. If I click here, we've got an action. If we click on the character name, it says character and so on. I'll click on this action section here. And if I click on these little stars here, these give us access to our AI tools. So let's say I wanted to improve the writing of this particular action. I could just click on improve writing and it will just automatically start doing it and 
can give you a suggestion down here when it's done. If I like it, I can just click replace and that entire block is replaced with what the AI rewrote. You can fix spelling and grammar, make it shorter, make it longer, rephrase the whole thing. You've got several options. So let's use this sample script as a template. We'll change some things to make it more in line with our Everville story. We'll start the script with the scene heading instead of interior test room. I'll say interior bedroom early morning. Now I'll click this next section, which is an action, and I'll change this to say an elderly couple, Eve and Jack, are waking up in bed. And then the Chiron, which is the little lower third, it'll say something like Atlanta, Georgia, 2022. Now I'll change this action and say Jack sits up in bed and looks around and sees that Eve is beginning to stir. Jack gently strokes her hair. We'll change the name Holden to Jack. We'll change his dialogue to good morning sweet pea. Isn't that adorable? We'll change this action. Suddenly the sky grows inexplicably dark outside and strange noises are heard from another room. We'll change Nexus to Eve and have her say, what is it? What's going on? Jack will say, I have no idea. Is the door locked? At this point, I'm gonna add an action, which isn't here in this template. So I'm gonna hit enter and you'll see that it defaults to action. So it knows intuitively that an action is the next thing you're going to wanna to type here. Before Eve can answer, their bedroom door bursts open. We're gonna introduce a new character here, Lily. Grandpa, the horses are out. We'll go down to this action and we'll say all three run out of the room and down the hall as pictures and mirrors begin to fall off the wall as the house begins to shake. Okay, so we've got the beginning of a story here and now let's play with my favorite feature, the AI voice cast. This is going to allow us to hear the flow of this thing to see if it makes any sense, to see if we need to change some of the dialogue and just otherwise assess how the story is going as you're hearing it rather than just seeing the words on the page. Do keep in mind that this tool is for your benefit. It's to help you improve your writing. They don't have an export audio feature so that you can say, hey, everybody listen to my production. The point here is you're going to use real actors for your production, not AI generated voices. This is a visualization tool for you. So let's get this thing cast. We're gonna click on AI voice cast and here you're gonna have a whole long list of voices you can choose from the system also already knows all the characters that are involved with your story now remember I had imported that sample script and it already had some characters in it so that's what it's referring to when you see Holden and Nexus but the characters we created Eve Jack and Lily are all in this list too so we want to find the right voice for each of them Lily although I didn't add this description in the script as I was writing it is probably a child because she's coming in saying grandpa. So let's find a young sounding voice. The years teach not young enough. Once or twice. Nature is a mutable cl in a small town nestled between the rolling hills and a dense ancient forest. Okay, that sounds like a young voice and it says young right here. So I'll click on the select character drop down and I'm going to choose Lily. And so now we need to find voices for Jack and Eve. Love all, trust a few, do wrong. He's not a UK guy. God has given you one. Why are there so many UK guys? Earlier this week, oh, James Bond comes. What happens? This is a voice that is clear. We'll use Bill for Jack. And now I want to find an older sounding voice. Are you sitting comfortably? Acupuncture is used to relieve discomfort associated with a variety of diseases and conditions. So we'll use Shannon for Eve. The narrator is the voice that will read everything else that is not dialogue. And that is predetermined at this point. So we'll close this up and we'll click on AI read aloud and see what happens. Interior. Bedroom. Early morning. An elderly couple, Eve and Jack, are waking up in bed. Chiron, Atlanta, GA, 2022. Jack sits up in bed and looks around and sees that Eve is beginning to stir. Jack gently strokes her hair. Good morning, sweet pea. Suddenly the sky grows inexplicably dark outside and strange noises are heard from another room. What is it? What's going on? What's going on? I have no idea. Is the door locked? Before Eve can answer, their bedroom door bursts open. Lily runs in. She is eight years old and holding a teddy bear. Grandpa, the horses are out. All three run out of the room and down the hall as pictures and mirrors begin to fall off the wall as the house begins to shake. 
So if you've had a movie idea running around in your head for a while and you just haven't gotten any traction with it because you either get stuck on a plot point or you're not really clear on how to flesh out the characters or in general don't know where to begin with a movie script, then check out StoryWork and give it a try. I think you'll be amazed at how good your idea can get. If you're in the creative AI space and you want to make the work you do even better, then why not subscribe to this channel because these are the types of things we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...